on the next class. This is just you don't need anything, but please have something handy. If you know, even a piece of wall or something for anything you might need to suddenly um hold on to. We're not going to be on our feet for too long, but as usual, let's start with our feet. So walk out those feet, walk out those feet. Just walk it out once more. I muted everybody. Suddenly I can hear breathing again. So I'm just gonna make sure everyone's muted again. So keep going. Yeah, all right. Nice with those feet. Walk it out for eight, seven, and walk, and walk, and four, and three and two now lean over to one foot and have a quick wiggle sorry about the delay guys i was having trouble signing in my computer upgraded itself <laughs> i this morning i thought something looked off but you know everything seems fine now i realize what happened you upgraded itself sign me out of everything and now come over to the other foot nice one just wiggle out guys the whole point is to see the space between your toes welcome to lunchtime class four and three and two nice one step out nice and wide make sure ten toes are still parallel pointing forward for now it's side two and three and four lift up rotate from the waist and send yourself to a half uh, uh, flat back hands on the side and start to slide all the way down to a forward fold inhale hands in the middle and now bending the knees and so slowly stretch your legs so bend and stretch and bend just the two more guys last one slowly straighten the legs Fingertips on the floor, straight in the arms and pop yourself up to a flat back, push your hips to the side, to side and side and side. Let a very, very gentle opening for the hips huh? and in the side. Nice one. Now relax the body over the legs and roll your way up and shoulders back and back. All that to the other side and then we're going to pick up the pace. Go over two and three and four. Hold and lift up, rotate from the waist and then send yourself to a flat back, pulling the abs in nice and tight. And now slide all the way down, find that twist and hand in the center. Fingertips off, palms on the floor. Here you go, bend and stretch the legs. Inhale, bend, exhale, stretch. Do your best to keep your feet completely parallel. And basically, you want the knee to be pointing the same direction as your toes. Now, just four more here. And four, exhale, inhale, exhale, last two. Now keep your feet exactly where they are. Walk the hands out so you're like a really weird and a right legged downward dog. Press the chest towards the floor. Bend the knees if you need to. I turn sideways so you can see. Bend the knees if you need to. You want to really try to stretch those arms over your head. And four, three, and I slowly straighten the legs and walk the hands back in. And then start to roll your way up, shoulders, but let's pick up the pace. This time, arms over your head. So from the knees, let's go. And side. So right away, it's a bit more intense than the one arm. And side. And side into those obliques, guys. And now from here, you gently swing over to the other side. And I meet you on the other side. Go side. And pose. Yes. Eight. Four more here. Four. Three. And two. Now gently swing over to the first side. We are going to half. That time, just four. This four. And three, and two, and then over to the other side. Meet me here. And four, and three, and two. Now over to the first side, just the two right. Go one, and two, and then the second side. And now it's one. And then come back nice and up, right side to side. Three, go reach, and reach. And now double time, guys. Let's go reach, reach, reach. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Here is four, and three. The feet are still parallel, guys. Now over to one side. Four and lounge and press and press nice one so you see one shoulder hip knee foot is one vertical straight line that's the side lounges just on one side for now Woo! i know now over to the other side slow finding that vertical straight line and go sit and sit and sit and press here is eight seven six five nice neutral spine guys let's go to singles go inside and side and squeeze if you're really struggling hands on the side right you are focusing on keeping your back nice and neutral from here and side and side just the four and three and two come to center fingertips on the floor and then gently scoop up walk you are to one end of the mat you're ready to go guys and now hands behind the head see are as wide as, as the mat go to a very gentle back bend inhale and then come to neutral Take a scoop down, walk your feet, hands out into a high plank. Now right knee and left knee. Right knee, left knee, right knee. Now it's a little cardio hit starting, right? Right knee, left knee. Those of you who want to pick up the pace, go for it. 
Now, the option for people who do not want to pick up the pace, simply just tip their knees, right? If you're really struggling, knees on the, on the mat and just straighten and straighten, right? We all have an option to stay in there. Now, two more eight, guys, M A one. Last eight, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Nice one. Now, step the feet as wide as the mat. And from here, we're gonna one elbow, the other, and hands. And now, the other side, and down. And back up, and up, and side, Whew. and back up, and up, and elbows, elbows. And now, four more guys. If you need to, the knees are down. These are options, right? The, the only option is trying not to stop. Last two, and down, and back up. Ladies, hold on to those elbow planks, step the feet in together. Now, one knee touch down, and the other. One knee, the other. Whew. Other heartbeats uh, coming down slightly. Yes, I know. For four. Now stay on this pace if that's all you want. Otherwise, double time. Now, if you're all doing this, remember I'm speaking as I'm doing it. So let's go. To, let's go. Whoo, and squeeze. Squeeze the knee step now. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, and two. Now gently swing onto one side for side plank. And touch your elbows, the other side for side plank. And now let's stay nice and slow, right? So one side, and then back on your elbows. You can actually stay on the knees for these three guys. Now for those of you who want to, you can speed up, up, and down, and reach, and down. If this is not, please go at the pace you're comfortable with. Especially if you're working with a shoulder issue. Eight more counts, anything you have. You can take it very slow. Four more counts, and three, and two, now guys, meet me on one of your side planks. Preferably the side where you can see me. And now up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. And up, up, hold. Um, options, knees can be down. If one knee down, one leg straight is too easy, you can lift the top leg, right? And up, up, hold. And up, up, hold. Guys, here's four more for last. Up, up. Three more up, up. Last two up, up. Last one, hold it here. Four, eight, seven. Look up at your ceiling. Smile at yourself. Four, three, and two. Nice one, down. Now remember whose shoulder you just hit were on our back. Right away, take it into a straight leg crunch. So the little grate is back behind, under your back, back and the floor. From here, guys. Little crunches up and up. Little lift and up and lift and press. It's little lift. Little lift, little lift, yes. Here comes eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three. Now, guys, stay up and now, and as high as you can, little crunches. Just right at the top, one millimeter movement. But you're focusing the whole time, focusing on keeping your back neutral. Keeping a little grip under the back and don't squash it. Uh, now, a little focus up, up, and up, up. For A, lift that covered floor. And up, just a four, three, and two. Nice one. Keep the head and shoulders off the floor. You can get the shoulder blades off the floor. And now one foot on the floor, the other foot on the floor. Now, guys, press the whole spine down. Both knees over the hips. Now, ladies, push the hands really hard into those knees, but the legs are resisting. So, arms and legs pushing into each other. Hold. And now extend the legs out for two and press back in for two. And out for two. Sorry, I missed the count. And out for two. Press right in. Nice. Up. Now, really use force in your arms and use force in your legs. By the way, you'll feel that real big pull up the pelvic floor. Right? Four more like this. And it's hotter than you think. Just now I was getting a bit chilly. Now I'm like, I shouldn't have turned off the fan. I should have just kept the window open, right? Now, guys, keep those legs out 45 degrees. You can have the feet keep with the path or legs together. Now, back to crunches and crunch. If you're struggling, arms reaching the side or legs going higher, guys. But all these options are available. Yeah, you can all do this. Lift and lift. Especially those of you watching playback, it's not as easy when it's not live. I do understand. Four, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three. Guys, hold it right here. One knee in, opposite elbow. 
extend out. Let's go. The other side and center. And side, center, and extend. Extend the leg in the middle, guys. Exhale. Inhale to extend. Exhale, twist, inhale. Last two. Now stay on one side. Wrap the elbows to the knee. Go squeeze. Squeeze. So the movement here, you're just going squeeze. Twist tighter. Nice. New squeezes. New squeezes. And switch. Modification. Put the other foot on the floor. And squeeze. Well done. Yes. Eight. If you're desperate for the modification, watch what I'm doing. And now, everyone, three. Now, you extend the top leg and bend. Extend. Those of you who are more not modifying, keep the other leg nice and straight. Four more. Go extend. Bend. Three more. And bend. Last two. Ladies, keep that leg out from here. Both legs down, legs together, and keep that leg back up. Let's go. It's down. Lift. Down. Modification, just keep, keep the other foot on the floor. And down. And lift. But for all of you on the screen right now, that's a bit too easy. So everyone, straighten the other leg for four. And three. And lift. Last two. Ah, oh, last one. Hold those legs together. You're still twisted. Arms reaching up if you need to now. Crunch. Crunch. You're still twisting, guys. Here's eight more. And seven. Six. Five. And four. Three. And two. And one. Nice one. Hug the knees in. Give yourself a few rock and roll. Rock and roll it. And then flip over onto your all fours. A few cat and cow here. Inhale to the belly button. Now take a few breaths here. Because the stomach's going to feel very tight, right? Woo! Exhale, scoop in. Now hold a few counts here as well. Keep breathing, guys. Now into one breath, one movement. Inhale, exhale to round. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Last two. And last one. Back to neutral, guys. Straighten the legs out. Cardio. Round two. This time, take the knees to opposite elbow. Let's go. Palm in. Now, you can guess what might happen. We're going getting ready for the other side plank, right? Going to twist. If you don't want to twist, just go to regular mountain climber. Go in, in, in. As usual, keep it slow if you really don't want to run. On the knees if you really don't want to run. Yeah, here's eight more counts. Whatever you're doing, guys. And four more here. Four, three, and two. Find a plank. Step the feet as wide as the mat. You are elbows, elbows, and hands. Just three more, guys. Elbows, bring the bum down with you. Last two. Woo! Yes. Last one on the elbow to meet me here, guys. This time, hold the elbow plank. Step the feet together. Now, flip the palms to face the sky. It feels like nothing, but get there and make sure every single nail are touching the floor. So, you're on the elbow plank. The palms facing you. Every single one of your nails touching the floor. So, get the hands right over. With thumbs, little finger, every single nail touching the floor. Flat, yes. Four, eight. Oh, the other day in the Pilates class, she had us holding this for like a whole minute. <laughs> and four. And three. Are the thumbs touching as well too? Nice one. Flip the hands back and then ready for the other side. Playing the other side, guys. Carry on. You know which side you have to go? Yes. Are you ready? Let's go. Up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. And up, up, hold. And up, up, hold it. Go lift, lift, hold. Lift, lift, hold. Nice, we're here for a while, right? Yes, up, up, hold. Eight more, lift, up. Up, up. And up, hold it. And up, four more, and we have a lot. Eight counts, hold at the top. And up, up. Last two, ladies. Last one, hold it up. Look at the top hands. Give yourself a smile, either on your knees or on your feet. As long as you're, you're not on your bum, it's all good. Woo! And four, three, and two, and one. Nice one, guys. This time, come onto your belly. So, right away, right back. So, we are, we will go back to our place, and now you're in a familiar position to get ready for your back. So, you have one hand on top of the other, forehead on your head. Feel the sweat going to the hands. Fabulous, right? Now, keep the legs apart. From here, relax your back, kick, draw the belly button away from the floor, up with your lift, lift. That's a great, did I hear you right? You said relax the bum, yeah, relax, really relax the bum here. So you force the other part of your back to do some work. Otherwise, we're always so straight to squeezing the bum and lift, 
Yeah, but we don't want that. We want to lift all these other parts first. Yes, little lift. It's not going to be high. Of course, if you can go high, guys, go for it. As you see, I have to flex to myself. And that's why I can use this place. I miss it a bit. I really like the lounge, but I'm missing this. <laughs> and lift. Four more, ladies. And four. Three. Now stay up. And then extend the arms out. And bend the arms back in, right? Extend the arms out over your head. Bend the arms back in. Extend the arms out. And for those of you who are really struggling with this one, just take the elbows apart and bring the hands, right? Go out and back to center. Or you get the arms over your head, bicep by the ear. Nice. Just two more. Arms out and come back. Last one. Option one, arms over the head. Option two, arms are cactus. Now lift and lift. Lift. Lift, really try to keep relaxing those butt cheeks. We'll go there later. We'll go there soon enough. Four, eight, seven, and six, five, and four, three, two. Nice, hold it here, breathe in, breathe out. And then throw the arms back down and head come back down. Some warm up for the group now, get that or give wiggle the bum side to side. Now draw the baby button in, now into the butt cheeks we go. So clench your bum. And now lift the legs up and up. You know, I think I've been doing so much of it that it never used to hurt me. It's now hurting me. So forgive me. Keep going as I get this cushion. <laughs> never used to hurt me. It's now hurting me. Go lift. And lift. Well done, guys. Whole pelvis, the triangular pelvis area is all on the floor. Four, eight. And four. Three. Now keep the legs off the floor, flex the foot. Are we ready to curl the hamstring and stretch? Heels, kiss, stretch. Heels, kiss, stretch. Heels, kiss. And just the four more. We're going to keep the heels in. And three more kiss. Last two. Now heels together, the legs off the floor. Now push your heels to the side. Well done, guys. Now start to lift the body off the floor as well, if that works for you. If it's very intense, you can keep the arms on the floor, but make sure you don't use them, just leave them down. Or oh, indeed, the arms are over the head, that's the hardest version, guys. Now, everything up, everything up. Everything up, guys. Everything lift, lift, and everything up. Well done, eight more. Yeah, eight, seven, six, feel your back. Yes, four, three, two. Oh, float it down, guys. Now, have a quick wiggle of the bum. How are we doing? And now, no sudden movement, guys. Bring either slide back via puppy position. I like so, keep the chairs on the mat. Or if that's too intense, you bring the forearm onto, under your shoulders and lift yourself up. And then take your time to go back to chow. We just did quite a bit for the back. So be really careful of any movement. And then you round over the spine the other way. And four, three, Two well done, guys. Now walk your way out to your, arm, to your old foot, making sure the back is really, all the awkwardness is gone. Yeah, there's no horrible, intense feeling in the back. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, knees off the mat. Inhale, put it down. Let's go. Knees up and low. Knees up and low. Exhale, up. Inhale, drop. And lift. So you're scooping the abs in to pick up the legs. So you're not just swinging from the shoulders. It's lift from the abs. It's a lift. Four more here. And lift. Three more lift. Well done, guys. Last two. I'm going to face you. Now hold it here. Knees and feet are side by side. If they are not, step the feet side by side. And then you pull the knees to kiss. Kiss the knees together. And kiss. Press. So basically up and press. Going in. And in. That's right. Go in. Push the knees together. Four, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, Hold on, keep the knees together. Now knees down and back up and down. Lock your knees together and down, back up and down, back up. Here is four and three. Last two. Nice one. Hover the knees back. Bring them back to parallel. Take a moment. Now open the knees out, out. So you open out this time, out. I okay, can see, right? So it goes out and out. Oh, I know. Well done, everyone. Four, eight, seven. Six, five, and four, three, and two. Oh, guys, just lengthen the legs out to plank and push up to downward or shake out your head. Woo! How are we doing? Yes. 
making sure that feet are parallel at this point, shake out your neck and shoulders and wall those feet out. And from here, when you're ready, release the right leg in the air and pulse, pulse. Go squeeze, pulse. While you do that, this is more about stretching than really any power. So enjoy the stretch and lift, right? While you do that, let me flip around so you, see, you can see the side that is actually doing any work. <laughs> and squeeze. Making sure the neck is relaxed. Uh, you all know these ones. Nothing you haven't done already. I maybe just put them together differently. Even if the movement that looks new is something, you, you know, there's nothing new here. As the Bible said, nothing new under the sun, guys. Now flex and point the top foot. Go flex and point. I never read the Bible, but one of my favorite writers quoted it. And four, point, and three, and point, last two. Guys, now keep the heel really, really flexed. Walk the hands, the feet, find your standing split. You might need to bend the bottom leg. Those of you modifying, watch me. Yes, yeah, so bending the leg and then carry on lifting the back leg. Just a four, three. Now guys, hold it here. Hamstring curl, heel to the bum and stretch. Finding that openness in the hip, so it's a turn out position. Now curl. And those of you who are upside down, you're on your own. Let's go for it, yeah? And stretch, and curl, stretch, four more curl, three more curl, nice. Last two, and now keep the heel close to the bum, point the toes, let those circle. If you're desperate, ladies and gentlemen, you can come on to all fours and stay there, yeah? In a way, certain movement is harder on all fours, and then reverse the direction, get circle. And for four, and three, and two, Nice one, open the hip back out, go straightening the leg. Now the leg is nice and high behind you. You go up and over, tap it to the side on the floor, quarter circle, up and over, back behind you. So side and tap and back behind you. And side and tap and back behind you. And side and tap. And those of you on all fours, this is the one I think is actually harder on all fours. That's it. And now four more here. And side, tap and back Woo! last two guys if you're modifying follow me last one leg out to the side lift the leg up 90 degrees up from the head now go up 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 if you can stay upside down stay upside down if you need to come down to all fours down to all fours and lift lift yes you're here for a while guys and lift up and up well done everybody <laughs> and four eight seven six five and four. Now, for those of you on your hands and knees, bend this leg back in so it looks like doggy taking a pee at the lamp post. Whoa, the hands out and everyone knee in the old pose. So knees down and up and down, up and down and up. Hello, guys. Let's do it. And down and lift and down. Now start to come down to opposite elbows. So starting to bring the left elbow down and now down. And start to open the body out to the side. Last two. Now keep that leg up. It's up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. Up, up. And four. And up, up. Last two. Now stay up, guys. From here, you're gonna flick and bend. Go flick and bend. And flick, hello, or bleak. Four more. And flick and bend. Three more flick. And bend, last two. And now keep the leg out to the side. Tap it all the way down to the floor, lift up. And down to the floor, lift back up. So this hand in front of you is pressing onto the floor really hard. My right arm is pressing hard to lift up my back, my right leg. Get yeah, down, four more. And up, knee tap, three more, tap, last two. And now out to the side, lay those circle. On the toes, little circle. I know it's horrible. I know, come on. Bend the knees if you need to, circle. And now reverse the direction. Well done, everyone. And but the butt kick's not done enough. Of course, we're gonna get there. And then four, three, and two. Nice one, bend the leg. And then bring yourself onto both hands. And this back leg, watch it turn parallel completely. Flex the foot, now stretch, and bend. And stretch, and bend. And stretch, four more. And stretch, and bend. Three more. Last two. Now keep the heel close to your bum. From here, you go one lift, one squeeze. Lift, 
and squeeze, lift and squeeze, lift. Heels is trying to kick your butt. And lift and squeeze. Last two. Now guys, keep the heel close your bum. Are you ready for the arms? Now up, push. Up and then press. And up. And now guys, tuck that toe under. Our old trick, lift the knee off the floor. We go up and press. And up and press. And up, just the formal, any version you want. Come on, Matiko, get the bottom of the knee up. What are you doing? Last two. Now, guys, hover halfway. Whatever you can, just hover. Come on, yeah, two more. Well, there's always one. Four. And three. And two. Nice one. Pull that knee down. Now, this poor top leg will step behind. You're ready for your inner side? Yes. Oh, it's not bad. So now we switch legs. So this other leg comes down. The back leg is in line with your body. The bottom leg slides forward towards the front angle. Now up, 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 up. Nice, up. The more you're right on the side, the harder. Of course, there's nothing to stop me to make you stay on the side. If you want to fall onto your butt cheek, but you will feel very little. So be nice <laughs> on your side, right on the side, and lift the bottom leg up. Yes, up and up. Go squeeze and up. We're gonna pick up the pace. And four, three. Now stay up as high as you can. Now pop, pop, pop. And lift, lift, lift. Well done, guys. As high as you can. Little lift at the top. Belly button in. Belly button and head. Top of low touch. Tuck that right in. And lift. Eight more. Or eight, seven, six, five, and four. Three, now point the toes, little circle. Tiny at the top, tiny at the top. Four, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, and hold. Circle the other direction. And here comes eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, and two. Hold it here, slide yourself onto your elbow, and then bring the foot down. You're gonna toe tap, release. Toe tap now, guys. When you toe tap, you can lift the bum off the floor, put it back down, okay? So, toe tap and bum down. Bum off the floor, bum back down. Off the floor, back down. And lift, back down. Nice, up and back down. So when the legs go up, you lift the bum up. So up and back down. Come on, some of you. Yes, one more. There's always one. Now last four, if you are lifting up, can you stay up? And lift and tap. Last two. Now stay up here, guys. No touch, no touch. Four, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, oh, nice one. Roll your way down, and then come to sit, sit. If the heels that the soles are fit together, knees out, and open those legs up. And here's four, three, nice. Are we ready? So switch over onto all fours. Have the toes under. And here we go. Over the knees up. Are we almost there? Here we go. Step it out and out and back in and in. Step it out and out and back in. Yeah. Last one out and out and back in. Now next time you step the legs out, take it to downward dog. Shake out your head, work out your knees. Once more, it's a bit of a chance to break. So now, remember the leg that was busy doing in the side just now. That same leg is going to lift up to split. Now pose. So we start on the right leg now, and at some point we switch your leg. So it goes right leg glue, left leg in the side. So now it's the left leg glue, right? So left leg is in the air. Yes, go lift, lift, and press. Yes, poise, and squeeze. And up, and four, three. Are we here? Nice and comfortable. So now flex, point, and flex, point. Belly button in, guys. And flex and point. Go eight, seven, six, five. Keep pulling those open and find the stretch in that bottom leg and the top leg. Now keeping the flex foot wall, the hands to the feet. Or indeed come to all four, hamstring curl. So basically heel to the bum. How much more can you open that knee towards the side or towards the sky even? And curl, and stretch, and curl. Here's four. Here's three, yes. Last two. And now heels in, and now point the toes to circle this knee. And circle. 
and four. It's three. If you're upside down, have the neck hanging. If you're horizontal, you have the neck in the line of the spine, guys. Now step hold the other one. Wherever you are, just imagine there's an asshole between the chest and the chin. Two more counts. And now, oh, hold that open. Open the hips some more and straighten the legs back out. Here you go, guys. Up and over to the side. Up and over behind you. Up and over to I'm so sweaty, guys. Is it me or am I just very unfit? Are you already getting it? <laughs> and now, up and over to the side. If you're on all fours, <laughs> it's harder on all fours. Well done, one more. One more. And back. So you don't drop the leg when you go to bed. You need it high. That's the challenge. Last two. And back. Last one. It touches the floor. It lifts up 90 degrees. And lift. And lift. Lift. So if you're on all fours, one more lift is when it gets really tricky. If you're on all fours, guys. They are horrible. And lift. And lift. Yes, my people. Get that leg higher. I know it should be 90. I should be able to see it from the angle. For eight. <laughs> Seven. Six. Five, four, three, four done guys. Now keep the leg there, bend the knee, and then come down on your knees. So that leg is flying out to the side, like Jogi taking a peer the lentil. Now close, open, close, open, close, open. So this is the, the one where you look like you're Jogi taking a peek, right? Woo! More civilized way, probably higher hygiene. Four more, close. Starting to come. And up, up. So guys, yes, we're back, we're back. And up, up, hold. Go up, up, hold. And up, up. Last two. Now stay up there, hold it here. Go four. And three, well done guys. Now stay from the knee. Go stretch and bend. Stretch and bend. And stretch. It's the, it's the kitchen. The front room, her Wi-Fi should be better. Keep stretching and bending. Nice, last two guys. Now keep the leg out nicely, horrible. Now little circle. I'm right here with you guys, little circle. And circle, <laughs> and circle, just the four more. Four, three, and two, reverse the right way. If you are struggling, soften the knees. If you can, keep it very much straight. And four, final finish here guys. Flex the foot all the way down, all the way up, and down, and back up. So my, my hand, my left arm in front of my chest, it's getting very busy, pushing down as I lift the leg. And down, back up, three more down. Back up, last two. Oh, last one, you are up. Open the knees and then climb yourself back up on all fours. And now the foot is all parallel, the leg is all parallel behind you. Now stretch. Now Wi-Fi should be a lot more reliable in here, guys. Yeah, stretch. Probably, yeah, it's just, there's pros and cones everywhere, right? Oh, the other one is a slightly better, less awkward space, but now keep the heel close to your bum, guys. Now go lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, heel as close to your butt cheek as you can. And lift, four more here. Go lift, squeeze, three more. Last two, well done, guys. Now keep the heel close to your bum. You go one lift, one push. One lift, one push. One lift, when you're ready, tuck that toe under, blow the knee up, lift. And push one lift that knee should be as close to the floor as you can guys if it's almost done with all that's cheating four more and press three more up and press last two now ladies let's hover halfway wait then wait everyone get that knee up for the last four yes later two and one float it down oh lay that leg behind you and fly onto your thigh hold these wires <laughs> and now up up, up, yes, everyone. The transition time is a very smooth transition. Minimum transition time. There's a reason it's done that way. <laughs> so lift, well done, everybody. The prayer map, I'm just gonna, <laughs> and go, lift. If you're right on the butt cheek, of course, there's nothing to make me stop you, but it's, it's much, much more challenging and more effective, I think. You're right on your side as much as you can. Now, guys, hold it up, double time up and up more but faster up and up up little lift and lift they barely see the movement everybody in 
and pelvis close tight. Draw and lift and lift. Just two, two more eight. Four, eight, seven, six, five. Yes, four and three and two. Point the toes. Tiny circle right at the top. Right where it's most challenging. Four, four, four and three, three and two and two. And now reverse and sweep. Now slowly fly onto your elbows. For four, four, three, and three, and two, and two, everyone on the elbows. And now you tap and put the legs down, toe tap. And now at the bum lift and put it down. Lift up, put it down. Lift up and down. Yes, it's easy, right? Yes, I know. And down, lift up. Four more left, guys. If you are really lifting, just keep the bum up. And the last four. And down, bum off the floor, stay off the floor. Last two. Meet me at the top there, guys. Yeah. Little pulses. Little tap. Little tap the toe. If you need to bend the knees, bend the knees. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Now come back in the center. Close so your feet together. I will favor arm fit coming. So, but in the meantime, get those. Don't know about you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> So, you're lifting the, the ankles up, and this, this is what the arm is doing. Yeah, that's what the, Obviously, you probably can't really lift the legs up, but you are trying to pick up and push down on the elbow. For eight, I just click. Four, three, two, nice one. Roll your way up, guys. And then lean back, give yourself a quick swish. A quick swish, loosen up whatever it's still carrying in the back. Yeah. No rolls, literally just switch. Switch. And you're ready to find the comfy seating position. And here's arms. Um, you don't have to be that way, guys. Yeah, you just, you know, whatever. Yeah, whatever is comfy, as long as you don't use your legs. If you're sitting this way, you have to change at some point, right? So now, as fast as you can, I can arms in the line of the body, not forward. Yes, yeah, fast. Very really fast. And right away, as soon as you move, mm, kick him. Oh, yeah. Go press. And squeeze. For eight, seven, six, and three. No wiggling from the wrist or elbow. Everything tight, right? And shoulders down. Arms <laughs> look so straightforward. It's the trickiest one to teach because this is where we usually go. Hmm. And now we are ready to switch sides. In five, four, three, and two, three. The other direction. Nice. Ah. Any, any way you're sitting, as long as you don't use your legs, yeah? And then, nice posture. Four, yeah. and three, three. 15 more seconds. This is a warm-up for the arms. Arms on the bar in the side of the body. So right away, those backs are working as well, yeah? Four, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three. Three. Now, here we go. Walnut crush it. So, ready, crush your walnut between the... They go down. So, it's up, down, up, down, right? Down. Three. Press and press. Press. Try not to let the elbows go below the shoulder. So, crush your walnut between those shoulder blades. Now, really open up, rib cages in. And two. Halfway through, guys. <sighs> I know, horrible. Especially if you have never done this, you'll be you're usually very surprised. It's only nine, only nine, only nine, only nine, only nine, only nine. I think first time I did it, I feel really sick after 40 seconds. <sighs> and by the way, if you're feeling nauseated, put the arms down and come back up. Yeah. For some reason, I think it's a blood circulation. It can make you feel a bit sick. And for four, four, three, three. Yes, guys. Two and two. And one. Now put your curl. So chin, chin to the elbow to the chin, chin, shoulders down. Now up and up and up. Yes, up. Elbows kicking if you can. Elbow kicking. Yes, Uma, horrible. Yes, up. Up. Yes, horrible. I know. Yeah. Now you can get the elbow, shoulder height. That's a final challenge. And it's up. Up hold. Up hold. If you want to speed up in five and four and three. And now it's up, up, up and up up but by faster i don't mean this 
Yeah, you are right where it's the most challenging, you go up and down one inch. Right where it burns the most time. Like. Now see, we're not even using weight. There is no weight. There is no resistance apart from yourself. Your own body weight. Up, up, up. Go sweet. And we're going back to our back and tricep after this. I know, I know. <laughs> and for squeeze, lift and press and press. Chin to the elbow, elbow to the chin. And five and four and three and two. Palms up, palms back. Now arms are past the body. Repeatedly. Now press, press, press. Now try to avoid this. This is too easy to do. You are still at you know, the integrity of the spine doesn't change. You start to feel quite a lot of heat across the back. Well done, more lovely, yeah. If you need to switch the position, switch the position. But find the position where your legs cannot be used. So that's the whole idea. It's really tricky that sometimes when I was teaching, I was on my knees. And even here, my legs are doing something. So you really want to be done. <laughs> because your body will find all the ways possible to try to make it easier for you. But for as long as you can hold good form, that means you have more. There's more, more in you. Yeah, there's always more in you guys. You know that. This is nothing. <laughs> Press. You've all done much harder things in life. 15 seconds. Anyone move houses and go camping and go skiing? And <laughs> kill the spider. Well done, everybody. Four, five. And next one, last two more left. Next one is like a break, right? It's like a break. And four. And three and two. Now it's down and full rotation. So my hands down, full rotation and down. With the shoulders down, it doesn't pop up. Yeah. Down, up, down, and down. This is a bit of a break. It's almost like shaking out, but you're still doing something. And now for those of you who want to, but make sure you go for the full rotation. Rotate, rotate. Again, the arms in the line of the body, not forward. So keep your back engaged. Now keep your back engaged. You are here 20 more seconds. We're going to finish with this one. And that's the last, next one. Next one we finish. Yes, woohoo! Yes, guys. Press, pop, pop. Oh, you're not even using any weight, anyone. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 20 seconds, guys. Focus on that rotation. Now, see my hands? Mm. And press, press. Eight more. Seconds and we throw the arms over our head and three and four, three and two. Meet me here now. Class. That's it. I know, horrible. So, the first few right up. Yeah, first few just ready to go if you need to. Full clinch, full extend. Yeah, and now go. And this is how you strengthen the forearm. You can't strengthen the wrist, but this is how you strengthen the forearm and subsequently strengthen the wrist, right? Oh, I know, guys. Now, palms down. And down. And down. And now, palms forward. And palms up. Wow. Full extension. It's horrible. I know. It's maybe going to feel quite sick. 20 more seconds to finish, guys. And palms back. Palms back. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, well done, Momo. We both stay. Stay with me. You, you didn't do this one often, I know. Palms back up, guys. We turn it back up. Finish here, come on. And squeeze, shoulders down. We're here, 16 more seconds. 16 seconds and that's it. You know if normally I told you seconds, it's like no time. Now suddenly it's so long. 10 more seconds, guys. Five more seconds, you see, can fly. And four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Ooh, I have very light, really, really long life. Well done, guys. <laughs> Oh, the push stretch. Mm. <laughs> well done, everybody. Now stretch your shoulders down once more. Yeah. There's no space for the for the shoulders. There's no room. Even boxers, they don't hunch up. They drop the chin. Yeah. Now the other side. Have a quick swing, and then the other side. Swing any which way you want, guys. Well done, everybody. Now coming for your next pose. Again, stay seated, finding a nice straight spine position, and now hands go behind. Now. From here, this other arm is going to push away and then down. That's it. So, you're going to work this. Work, you're not yanking your head, but you're going to work the side. So, the hand is heavy, the arm is heavy. This side of my neck is going to work. It's going to pull up and then slowly let it go away. Yeah, again, up. 
this is dynamic stretch. One more. Contract and then hold it here. Mm. Four. This arm is actively pushing away. Lengthen. And two. And now stay up. Keeping the arms right to the side. Turn towards the arm and press it. This can be a bit of a surprise, so go slow. It was a surprise to me. <laughs> like, oh, this one feels ooh. So go slow, guys. And then lift up. Ah, again, shake it up. Now the other side. So nice and straight up. Pushing away and down. Again, always slow. Yeah. And now leave this arm to dead weight. You lift up. Mm, and they'll drop with control. Now back up, contract and lengthen. And contract. This next lengthening, hold it there. It's like when we stretch, yeah, we bend and stretch, bend and stretch, and then we hold the stretch. This is, that's how dynamic stretch, lift up, turn towards your arm. Again, very carefully, this can be a surprise. And four, three, and two. Nice one, guys. Lift back up, have a time. Nice, and fine, here you go. Let's go into some double figure four to finish. So, instead of a cross-legged, you cross legs even more. Yeah, so take the foot to the knee, knee to the foot. If you are able to stack them, stack them. I'm not going to take the risk. <laughs> so my foot is lined up with my knee, my foot is lined up with the knee, and then I come forward. You should feel this in the glute. That's it. If this is too much on both sides, one at a time. This is basically, or you lie down on your back and do it. Yeah. And four, hold the butt cheek. Two, and now slowly roll your way up. Again, you have a quick wiggle side to side. You're up. And lean back, show girl, hook the leg. There you go, I know, fabulous. Knee to the knee to the foot, foot to the knee, lift and push. Push your chest and belly button forward. Four, three, two, nice one. Now lift up, and now it's onto your back, onto your all four, and now sitting back down. So it's like a, like a, like a Japanese stuff. Come up to high kneeling, we're gonna open our chest and that. So you can tuck the toes under, you can keep them like so. Feet are hip width apart. Hands are supporting your back. Now, like a back bend. So push the hip forward and lift back. And go where you can handle. This is not really like a back bend in yoga. This here, we're just focusing on opening the body back out. Opening the hips, opening the quads. Push the hip forward, supporting your back with your hands. And some of you might want to touch your, your heels, go for it, right? And four, three, two, come back to neutral. Bring the chips on the floor, tuck the toes and very carefully bring your legs in for the squat. Oh, yeah, very carefully now, guys. Yeah, that was a little back bend there. Inhale, exhale, come up halfway, resting on your legs, hands behind your back. Keep us a little bit stretch right here. Four, three, Two, and release the arms on the floor, guys. Inhale, bend the knees deeper. Exhale, slowly stretch your legs all the way if you can. Soften the knees, and then roll your way back up, guys. Working into each vertebrae until you're all the way up. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, all down, guys. You're all done. Thank you for staying with me, my little technical kick up. I forgot there's a pros and cons. Yeah. 